Hey, Shalom. First of all, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shumi Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles, to the apostles of Great Millstone who have some of this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and rest our life to do so. Basically, uh, what this video is going to be about um, is, uh, you know, we're the only people that's that's the only people, the only men that's going to uh, stand up against evil evil doers is the elect and the one third. Okay, understand that the world, you know, they're indulged in evil, so they're not going to they won't they didn't partake in his work, so they're not going to uh, you know put off their old ways or put off the things you know that they wanted to accomplish to do this work. You know, and you know, with putting off the things, you know, and 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 turning your ways around to do this work, it's hard, man. It's tough. Okay, I can't lie. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you and say it's the easy thing. It's hard. It's tough, but it's it's tough because it's a purging process. That's one of the reasons why it's tough because, you know, you. You you laid up in a world to where you see wickedness from you know from sun up to sundown, okay? And your body is in, in indulged and marinated in a, in the bullshit, you know. So <clears throat> if all you know and all you see is that, and then you get a glimpse of this light, okay, you get a glimpse of this truth, you know, it's 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 a it's a process to where you have to have to what you got to go through to be right as far as getting that the world off you as much as you can now like i always said just man the scripture said just man falls seven times but he get back up again okay you know we fall but we get back up but we keep pushing because one of the reasons why is because we know the end result of what's happening and what's going to happen okay we already know that the things here is temporary okay and it's not forever. And we can't forget that. Okay, but without further ado, let me get into these scriptures. Lord willing, your brothers are edified. This is Hebrews 10 and 31. It says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, but call to remembrance the former days in which, after you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions. Now, I always bring out Hebrews 10 and, 10 and 31 on down. And the reason why is because it's a great... Uh, it's a great motivator. It's a great booster. The scriptures don't lie. It talks about everything that we're going through. And it tells you everything you were going to go through when you get this word. And this is how you, this is how you know you're in the truth, man. You know, you this is how you, it's a distinction between, you know, it's a difference between the man of the Lord and these, you know, Christian pastors or these other religions because Religions is still part of the world and it's evident. Okay, and this word, the men in this word, you know, some of the best brothers you ever meet, some of the most beautiful spirited people you'll ever meet in your life. But we all go through trial and tribulation and we're all going through, you know, tough times, you know what I mean? Uh to get to get the end result. Okay, but the scripture said that that would happen. Roughly paraphrasing, but I'll start back at thirty-two. It says, "But call to remembrance the for call to remembrance the former days in which, after you were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions, partly whilst ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst ye became companions of them that were so used." Right, so we became companions of them that were so used. Okay. We're made a gazing stock. You know, we're made a gazing stock when we put on, you know, our garments. We're made a gazing stock when we have conversations, you know, uh, with with people. We made a gazing stock when we, uh, we salute each other. You know, we made a gazing stock when, you know, people, you know, people over here conversations, or you know, conversations about what brothers are talking about. We're made a gazing stock when you when you when you you're seen on YouTube. You know teaching this word so it's 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 a lot of things you know it's, and that's all that's all part of it.
you know, you know, it's it's a lot of things that that brothers be going through, man. It's, it says in part, but it's okay. It's okay because there is an end result, you know. And and the scriptures say that the Lord Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, you know. So, you know, the blessing we will be righteous, man. You know, we will be righteous, and we will rule the universe. Okay, it says, and partly whilst he became companions of them that were so used, for he had compassion of me and my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye in heaven, ye have in heaven a better and enduring substance. It says, because uh, your treasure in heaven, the blessings of heaven, you're going to actually own it. It's going to actually be yours. Okay, your woman is going to actually be yours. Your children is going to be actually be yours. Okay, yo, whatever you have, whatever treasures you have is actually going to be yours. Okay, and it's going to benefit you. This is 35, it says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have a great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience. And have confidence, you got to have faith. Okay, the ultimate, the ultimate, the ultimate uh, confidence is mixed with faith, man. You know? It says, which hath great recompense of reward, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, how will ye might receive the promise? For yet a little while, and he that, sh he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall, not, shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So we're not of them that draw back into the madness. We're not of, you know, we're not of them that, that Lord willing, you know, we're not of them that, because we understand what's happening. We understand what's going to happen. We understand that, like I said earlier, that the things that we see now are temporal. Okay, this shit is temporary. <laughs> you know, this shit is temporary. You know, and guess what? The kingdom is not temporary. The kingdom is going to be everlasting. It's going to be forever. Okay? It's going to be forever, man. Okay? Let me, uh... This is Psalms 94. No, uh, I'll probably start up with some more meat on here. Uh... Yeah, I'll go down. This is Psalms 94 and 14. It says, For the Lord Yahweh will cast off his salakia. For, for the Lord Yahweh will not cast off his people, people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But the judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Okay? Who will rise up for me? This is the point. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? So who will rise up for the Lord? Okay, against the evil doers. You know the evil doers in this world, the evil doers who rule this society. It says and that's a question. Or whom will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay, that's a question. And who's doing that, man? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? The elect is doing that. Okay, it says that. The uh, the judge complain continually. The judge. Oh, let me see if I get it. it. Might be an apocrypha. Might be second that. Oh, it's lucky. Right here. This is second Ezra fifteen and eight. It says, "I will hold my tongue no more of such in their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things, in which." They wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, so it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a punishment for being wicked. Although it might feel good for the moment, and although the multitude might be wicked, it's a punishment for being wicked. It says, "Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually." So once you understand this word, once you understand this truth. Right, you become just, you know, one if you do it in the truth of sincerity. Okay, and you, you start to complain about the shit that go on here because you understand that this kingdom was a co combination of every other kingdom that was wicked, all in one. You know, this place here, that's why it's the last captivity before our kingdom gets set up, which is going to be a righteous 
a righteous, peaceful dwelling place for Israel. Okay? That's what it's going to be. So that's what we got to look for. Look forward to. Okay? And, man, we're going to be Lord willing. You know, I make it to the end. Lord willing, brothers make it to the end. Lord willing. Man, we're going to be so happy. Man, we're going to be so happy that we stuck with this. Man, we're going to be so happy that we went through all the bullshit. You know, we're going to be so happy, man, and so joyous, you know, that we didn't turn back. Lord willing, we don't turn back. You know, we're going to be so happy. Okay, this is First Peter 1 and 13. It says, Wherefore, good of the loins of your mind, be sober, and I hope to, to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Mashiach. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust and your ignorance. Okay, so not going backwards, not going into the old man you once were. Right, it says, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Okay, so we ain't going back, man. Lord willing, we ain't turning back. Brothers of seen the chariots, I saw a couple of brothers. Posting videos, brothers in Chicago, you know, seeing chariots in the skies, you know, brothers at camp seeing chariot, a band of fleet of chariots coming and circling and going in the skies, man, you know, and we understand what that is. We understand that that's that's the home going device right there, you know. That's where we're gonna meet you. How shy up in the air, man, you know, low willing. Okay, so with that man, low willing. The video was edifying. Low willing, brothers got something for this video. I want to give our praises to you. How about she me shy? Uh, forgive me the spirit to do this video. I want to tell you, brothers, uh, keep pushing. Stay up. Keep going. Shalom.